Question, what does a loving neighbor and a box of spaghetti have to do with each other? Back in 30. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hi, this is Jan from New York City. My channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are a veteran here, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're stopping by for one time, I humbly thank you for doing that. Hope that this video finds everybody doing well. Happy Saturday. This is my second cup of joe. Mm -mm. Have anybody have their coffee yet? Mm. In my real time here in New York City, it is actually 7.51 a.m. in the morning. It is a beautiful morning. The weather's looking great. The kind of weather you pray for all year long. What does a box of spaghetti, a loving neighbor, have to do with this video? A lot. I'm going to tell you a little story, a little backstory. I had a neighbor, and unfortunately, I have to use the word had because unfortunately, uh, she passed away a couple of years back. I knew this neighbor my whole life, and I'm proud to say her first name was Lucy. What a character. She was really the queen of the neighborhood. Anybody in my neighborhood knows what I'm talking about when I say that. Okay. She came across like a real New Yorker. She told it like it is. No holes barred. Might have sound a little rough to someone who may not be familiar with New York ways, but a lot of love came from her. I remember one day, a few years ago, I knew her since I'm born, so that's a long time. Uh, one day I was sitting outside and she used to like to sit outside and she lived not far from me. Making a long story short, there was like an area to sit on, like that was too close to the street. And a car was coming and I didn't see it. And she said she's screaming from the window for me to get out of the way. She saved my life. She saved me from injury. God bless you forever, Lucy. I dedicate this show to you. Okay. Now, what does this have to do with spaghetti? Lucy showed me rather late in life. And it, I'm surprised I didn't hear about this recipe forever. Okay. And it's called spaghetti pie. I'm like, what? I mentioned spaghetti pie because spaghetti pie is very, very inexpensive to make. Now, there are a couple of varieties. I always thought there was one variety, and that was Lucy's variety. <laughs> and any time she was in the mood, she'd say, she'd scream out the window. This was her method of communication many times. Janet, I'm making spaghetti pie for you. She did this a couple of times, but of course, as she got older, that couldn't happen. No one made spaghetti pie like Lucy, my neighbor. I don't care what anybody says, you cannot buy this in a store. But my mom never made spaghetti pie. She never even mentioned spaghetti pie, but that's okay. That's all right. My mother, maybe she never heard of it either. So what can I tell you? I always thought there was one version, and that's the version that I'm going to I'm going to give you a recipe in the description box below that seems to be the closest to what I recall of Lucy's. And it is the least expensive way to go. These other versions with meat and sauce, I don't know where that came from. That must be an Americanized version. But I think the truly Italian version is basically the pasta, the cheese, the cheeses and the eggs. That's my opinion. I could be wrong. So if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. <laughs> but based on what I know, I only knew one pie, Lucy spaghetti pie. It was outrageous. And since I am a budget channel, why wouldn't I want to direct you to a recipe of which I feel in my honest opinion can actually save you money? Now, having said that, okay, uh, 
There is one thing to note about this recipe. You're going to use thin spaghetti, but not N-O-T, bold-faced print, N-O-T. You will not use angel hair pasta. Don't use that. Okay, so I had to make that one perfectly clear. Um, and this is, there's a video that I'm going to hook up in the description box below. And it's called Sauceless Spaghetti Pop. And the channel name is Creating a Simpler Life. By the way, I really enjoyed that video. And when I have a chance, when I feel I could treat myself to this, that I'm going to make a spaghetti pie in the future. I love the way some people uh, pronounce spaghetti. I have heard some Italians, you know, from Italy, they don't say spaghetti. They say spaghetti. Spaghetti. So cute. I love that. I'm going to give you a list of the ingredients that is shared in the recipe and channel that I just mentioned that's going to go in the description box below. But if you live alone, keep this in mind that everything I'm mentioning to you, there's no reason in the world why you have to use a whole pound. If you live alone, but you want to try the recipe, half it. Half it. So keep that in mind, and you can half all the ingredients. Now, I'm going to read you a list of the ingredients, and you tell me where this would be an expensive pie to make. You will be happily shocked that it is not. Okay. So this is based on if you're going to make a larger one, okay? All right. Going to need one box of thin spaghetti, otherwise known as spaghetti, not angel hair. Going to need six eggs. Going to need a stick of butter, one stick of butter. Going to need one half a cup of Parmesan cheese, you know, the grated kind, which almost everyone has sitting in their fridge somewhere. You're going to need a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Salt and pepper to taste. Hello. Do you think that that could be a cost-effective recipe? Sounds like it to me. Sounds like it to me. And you know what? Think about something for a minute. In my opinion, why couldn't all these items get assembled earlier in the day? And then when it comes close to the time that you want it, then you, you know, do what you need to do later on, you know, baking it off. Okay. This recipe is very simplistic and very cost effective. So if you're on a, you know, paycheck to paycheck budget or just want to cut back, even if you're not, I say go for it. Now, there are other variations of this pie, as I mentioned, you could find those, like if you prefer like one with uh, tomato sauce and meat or whatever. Okay. But I personally love this one. Why? Because it is the closest, the closest to Lucy. Lucy, I will never forget you. If there's any way you're watching YouTube from heaven, please know that I love you and I'll never forget you. And thank you. Thank you for being you. Thank you for being the true New Yorker that you were. People like you are very hard to find. In the meantime, this has been Jan from New York City. Thank you so much for watching. Why? Because I really do appreciate you. I hope you do enjoy this recipe, of which I'm going to link up in the description box as soon as possible. Have an amazing day, everybody. I'm going to come back tomorrow with some product reviews of some of my favorite items. You take good care now. Have a great day.